Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve uh, one of the complex scenario that was asked recently and this scenario was shared by one of our subscriber. So the challenge was to get or highlight the sales uh, greater than average sales per month and also per region. So there are two scenarios in this. So like you can see on, on my screen, first is highlighting sales that are you know greater than average sales per region. So this is... Uh, we have month and region in the view. Second one is when I have only month and sales and I want to highlight only sales greater than average sales across this. Two scenarios we are going to solve. So for this, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to first build a view so that we understand you know, how to get the value. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to bring my month order date in month format. And then I'm going to take sales so first we need to understand like what we need here okay so it looks very simple but when we, when you try to calculate and match the values it might not match so first as a reference perspective what i'm trying to do is first i'm trying to find the average here so that i can have some reference point so for that i'm just using reference line concept here and i'm just taking average and i'm showing value here so that i know what is the value so what is the value we are getting 193 eight seven eight right so now what is average or how do we calculate average here in general if you say total sales by month simple or number of months to be precise now this calculation will try to achieve in tableau okay so for that what i'm doing is here i'm going back we'll keep it like this only for now and uh, i'll take sales okay and I will also, or we can do one thing. I'll just duplicate this as a cross tab. Okay. So here we have. Now first, I'm writing a calculation here. Let's say total sales. Right. So total sales, I'm trying to write. Or I'm trying to get. Uh, so which means, which means what? When we sum this total values and divide it by 12, we will get this average sales, right? So that is what we need to do. So if I go back here, um, So first I'm using a fixed LOD, okay? And I'm writing, not using anything and I'm trying to get some of sales. So now what does this give? Let us try to bring this into view and we'll check. So total sales. We got this two, three, Two six five three four. That is a total sales value, right? Now we need the count of months, right? So for that, what I am doing is we need to divide those two. So I am writing division by, okay, and I'll write fixed. Okay, I need uh, count distinct of month of order date okay and i am trying to just sum this okay i'll close the bracket here let us see what will be the result here we should get 12 right there are 12 distinct months so this is failing maybe i can just uh, no, re drop here we got 12 months right so now our formula that we wrote is working perfectly fine so now i'll just remove this and club this formula right okay uh, because this is not an aggregate value we are getting an error i can write sum on top here and close the bracket here and then if i divide it we got 193878, which is exactly matching with this value. Now, 
step one like we got the average value now we need to consider this value and match it with our actual sales okay so what i'll do i'll simply create uh highlight sales greater than month okay if my sum of sales is greater than the total sales that we have uh, calculated just now the calculation okay then it is high else it is low end it okay click on apply and okay so if i try to bring this into my view what will be the value here you see only those so i'll just color it you know reasonably so that we understand here now see only those sales that are greater than the average sales are getting highlighted how many sales we have one two three four five so i've done it in five ways okay this is one method i hope you have liked it if there is any alternate way that you think you can achieve it you can just you know comment it in the comment section so that others who are also watching the video might use it in their scenarios second scenario we need the same thing but we need with respect to with respect to region right so i'm just uh gonna use the same thing here okay i'm just duplicating this sheet but i'm also taking a region here right so this is per region the same thing if i go here and if i add a region this is per region right and this calculation will not work here now what is happening our central region average sales is different per east region average sales is different per south average is different per west to south is different right so we need to find out this 41 931 somehow for each region we need to get right so let us try to resolve that uh, same thing i'm trying to do here total sales we got 193 is average uh, this is the total sales per region we need right so i'm trying to find out uh, total sales per region i'm going to do okay so which means what fixed so for, i'm taking region here hopefully this should work and i'm taking uh, sum of sales okay so this is my region wise sales so if i just cross check here what i've done yeah this one per region right so this is per month okay yes so here i'm just trying to find out my total sales per region right so we will get total sales per region so this is my total sales so in central i have this in east i have this so south i have this now if i divide this total value by months number of months then we will get the average sales per region right very uh, this thing same thing now we'll go and we'll try to edit our calculation and we will do some modification so same thing like we did earlier and we need to divide it right uh, we need to use same fixed per region right i need number of months okay so i'll write month of order date and i'll close it here okay so error is because of the syntax i'm just commenting it for now and here now you might be wondering and you say are rahul why can't we use you know count and all so if i don't use if i use a count here instead of a sum let us see what will be the result just for from explanation perspective okay so what is the error here okay some syntax error here we opened one bracket okay for first let us correct this and then we can correct that and i'll remove this 
okay here itself is the error okay so one bracket oh here and here so we need to close one more here right now if i write uh, count distinct of this same thing what will be the result it should give us one so if i just rebring it it is giving us one so instead of that i can use a sum here which should give me 12 again now for each region sales is my numerator part and this is my denominator part so manual calculation i'm trying to bring okay so i'll just remove this and i will use a sum on top okay and then close the bracket here that's it so i've written multi-line statement just to make you understand easy now we got the average value per region okay so i'll just write it as average sales per region okay so we got uh, where did it go we got 41931 so if i go and check here 41931 right and then we have 57652 so if i check here 57652 so it is matching with whatever we have here now i need a simple calculation where i can use that right so i'll go here write the calculation highlight sales greater than average sales per the region now what we need to do same calculation like we wrote earlier so if if my sum of sales is greater than uh, the average sales per region that we have calculated then it is high else it is low and it okay click on apply okay i can simply bring this on color shelf now you see only those parts are getting highlighted so this way we can solve this scenario very effective and very easy approach i've done there might be other approaches that you can use but when you try to do the same thing in interview you might make it complicated so what are the takeaways from this first understand the average sales logic here first point right so basic formula average sales how will you calculate right simple total sales by count of items simple same formula instead of making it complicated by trying to use window function lod expressions and all i've used a simple approach so that you can you know recreate it whenever you are in interview so sometimes we might not be prepared for this type of scenarios but we need to solve that but how can we solve remember the basics average concept so if you can do that you will be able to solve this effectively i hope you have liked this video if it does don't forget to share your valuable feedback in the comment section see you in the next video till then bye, -bye and have a good day